I'm Lynn Swan, formerly of the Pittsburgh Steelers. On this episode of NASA Connect, astronauts and NASA researchers will help you learn why having the right ratio of rest is important. Students will construct a tool for visualizing fractions as they learn about rational numbers, all on NASA Connect. The right ratio of rest, proportional reasoning. Jen. How you doing? RJ, I'm doing fine. The question is how you're doing. You look beat. Are you okay? I've just been really tired lately. I even fall asleep in class. You know what? Today my teacher had to wake me up. You're kidding me. That's not good. RJ, what's going on? Uh, track meets and practice keep me pretty busy. And I've stayed up late every night doing my homework. I mean, it's hard for me to get up in the morning and I can't seem to keep my head up during class. I mean, I'm beat. RJ, you know, if you keep going like this, you're going to burn out. Now, you know, have you ever heard of the term biological clock? Isn't that where your body has to be in sync? Sort of. A more scientific way of talking about your biological clock is the term circadian clock. Now, this is when your sleep period and your activity period are coordinated with the environmental dark and light cycle. The circadian clock acts as a master control to ensure that the various systems of the body, the nervous system, the respiratory system, the cardiovascular system, and others, work together. Now, if your clock is out of sync, your health and performance will be negatively affected. Now, RJ, from what you're telling me, it sounds to me like your lack of sleep is affecting your ability to stay awake in class and focus. We've already talked about how NASA is researching good nutrition and exercise, remember? Well, you know, NASA's also researching sleep as well. Astronauts on the International Space Station work long hours performing critical tasks. A lot of attention is paid to their sleep schedule. Astronauts don't experience normal dark and light cycles like we do on Earth. How so? Well, in order to stay in orbit around the Earth, the ISS travels close to 17,500 miles per hour, or 27,880 kilometers per hour. The ISS orbits the Earth about 16 times every 24 hours. That means the astronauts experience a sunrise every 90 minutes. Now consider what astronauts will face when we return to the Moon. Once the sun rises on the Moon, it won't set for a week, and then it will be dark for an entire week. Get this, during missions into space, astronauts can lose up to two hours of sleep per night. Now, after a two-week mission of orbiting in space, they've accumulated such a sleep deficit, they are fighting for a bed when they get home. So you see, RJ, your extreme schedule has you facing a circadian challenge, much like the astronauts do, on a much smaller scale. Wow, I'm facing a challenge like the astronauts. You know, RJ, I have a great idea. Why don't you search the internet for some more information on the circadian clock? And make sure that your information comes from reliable sources, like the NASA portal. You know, speaking of NASA, I bet you could contact some NASA researchers and find out what NASA is doing in this field. Bet you could get some really great information. Okay, Jen, I'll get on it when I get home. Don't forget your homework, and please get some rest first. Oh, sure. Yeah, I'll let you know what I find out. See you later. Okay. You know, lack of rest and sleep is an issue for many people. Think about spring and fall when we change our clocks. Do you have difficulty adjusting to the new time? How about when you go from your summertime routine to your fall school routine? Now, if you're like most kids in the summertime, you stay up late at night and you might sleep later in the morning. Do you have trouble adjusting your biological clock for school? A University of Michigan medical study found teachers report that 10% of their students have trouble staying awake in their class. Are you one of these students? Well, while RJ does his research, here are a few things you and your teacher need to know about today's NASA Connect program. During the course of the show, your teacher will stop the program and ask you several inquiry-based questions. This is your time to explore and become critical thinkers. 
And here is Derek with your first question. Our friend Norbert is from the planet Norbania, where a normal day, or a light dark cycle, is 24 hours, just like it is here on Earth. One day, he and his dog Zot decided to visit other bodies in our solar system on their space scooters. They visited Mars, Europa, and Neptune. Mars has a light dark cycle close to that of Earth. Europa, a moon of Jupiter, has a light dark cycle of about 85 hours, and Neptune has a light dark cycle of about 16 hours. Norbert and Zot are from a planet with a 24-hour light dark cycle. So what are some of the sleep challenges they will face as they explore these other bodies? Teachers, now it's time to pause the program and discuss this with your class. So, how'd you do? We'll get back to Norbert and Zot a little bit later in the show, but first, let's see how RJ's doing.